everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another safe haul video. So I came across this one and I had to immediately do a video on it. I have never even seen this creator before. I'm not sure if this is the only thing they've created, but this is by Fluffy Monkey. In your game, it'll look exactly like this Fluffy Monkey safe file. So of course, I'm going to have the link down below. This is going to lead you to Ko-Fi, I believe it is, and you do not have to pay for this. So I just wanted to like point that out because it can be kind of confusing. You can type in zero and then just carry on to download. So yeah, Ko-Fi has the like buy me a coffee thing. So it's like optional, but yeah, you can type in zero and then carry on and download. So I just wanted to clarify that, but oh my God, you guys, I'm pretty sure the last time this save file was updated was for high school years. It says all worlds, but I'm pretty sure like that was just the last time it's been worked on. So like all the worlds up until then are done, which is so exciting. So I'm sure there'll be another version, all the remaining worlds completed. Just obviously things take time. So there is so many things in Newcrest that literally grab my attention. But before we get into everything, let's do our notification shadow. And this one goes to Brooklyn. Thank you so much. Oh my God. My comments lately, you guys, I just want to say thank you. I did a little, a little like appreciation post in my community tab. But for those of you guys who didn't see that, I love you guys so much. Like, oh my God, your comments, I swear, I'll go check my comments to reply to some like all the time. And just lately, you guys are leaving me like the sweetest comments times 10. I don't know why, but I appreciate you guys. You keep making me smile. But yeah, thank you so much, Brooklyn. You're so sweet. I really do appreciate you. Also, your hair in your profile picture looks awesome. And with that said, let's get into this. So we have a cafe and it's called Lattes and More. How freaking cute. We have this Dragonberry Bistro. I don't know. I love the names to everything. We have this beautiful park here, a Newcrest um, basketball court, which is so nice to have. We have Newcrest co-working, which I'm curious about. Over here, we have the Newcrest Executive Suites. The Morning Cafe, we have Newcrest Library, Mirabella Italian Bistro. We have a bowling alley. We have the it's a really cool looking residential lot. And then something I never see in safe files is community gardens. And this safe file has it. So there is a family over here and then there's one over here too. They look cute. And then we have another little home here. I'm going to like go over some of the worlds before we jump in. Willow Creek looks amazing. I like how this strip looks like what we're used to, but like 10 times better. Like we saw the library here. We have the gym, the blue velvet, you know, and then we have the museum, which is like way different. And I am in love. I don't know if these houses are updated on the inside and then stay the same on the outside. I'm not sure, but you can see the park again, like it's familiar, but it looks better. And look at these houses, you guys. Oh my gosh. So yeah, there's this family here. Also, these families do have little backstories, which is so important to me in save files. They don't all though. So keep that in mind. Look how cute they are though, but you could write something up honestly but they have a little backstory and i don't know i just think these families are so cute like the pancake household got a makeover and then oh the duval family lives here now okay interesting and then the goth family's here honestly kind of curious i don't know if that was intentional it may have been an accident like accidentally putting them in the wrong spot but i don't know i could be wrong maybe there's a reason for this i don't know and then we have oasis springs which has a simsim hospital we have this Yuma Heights residential lot, which looks crazy. Oh, is this the family they were playing with? I feel like maybe, but this house looks so cool. Look at this build over here. Look at this, you guys. This looks so cool. The Roller Flare nightclub. We have the 24-hour laundry and pet bath. We have a hotel even. And then there's an art center, which is really nice. We have a whole bunch of homes. We have the Gomez family. Oh, oh so this in here owns a cupcake bakery, which is really cool. Look at these houses. They look awesome. This one here too. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm clearly obsessed. <laughs> and then we already looked at Newcrest. So this world has been redone too. I'm obsessed with this. The Roadstead Reno looks so good. So Windenburg looking really awesome. I feel like there's so much to look at all the time in Windenburg because it's the biggest world, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, some stuff might be the same, but then might be edited on the inside. I'm not sure. 
I feel like though, yeah. And then San Myshuno, you can see there's actually a spa here now, which is really nice. And then we have a vet clinic over here. We have a karaoke bar. The nightclub here has been all redone and it looks so good. The gym is redone. This Myshuno Meadows is redone too. And oh my God, it looks gorgeous. We have the art center over here. And then as far as the apartments go, they are furnished. Look at how good that looks. And we have Sims up in here, which is amazing amazing. Look at this. Literally stunning, you guys. Going over to Forgotten Hollow, I usually just like quickly skim over this. You know, I never really head in, but there is a vacation rental, which I think I never thought about that, but this would be a really cool place to go on vacation because you could make a storyline out of that. Like if you're not like a supernatural player, you could have your realistic family go here for a vacation and they end up like being on vacation in this creepy place and like there's like different sims around here. They don't know what's going on. It's creepy. That makes me think of like a movie. That would be a cool storyline. So then we have Brindleton Bay. So here's what this looks like. Just a little overview. Del Sol Valley. Oh my God. Look at this gym. That looks so good. And then over here we have a bar, which is also a bowling alley. We we have, ooh, you could probably make this a residential rental now because it looks like there's four homes there, but obviously this was made beforehand. So that's really cool. And then Strangerville is looking like this. And then we have Sulani. There's so many worlds now and I want to jump into them, but I also want to show you guys the maps. So let's speed up this process. Ooh, okay. Then we have Glimmerbrook. Oh my goodness. Okay, those homes are something. And then we have Brightchester. I usually kind of skim over Brightchester too. I think these are different for sure. Evergreen Harbor. Wow, look at this lot, you guys. That's beautiful. And then we have Mount Komorebi. I love this lot right here. That looks stunning. And then as for Hanford on Bagley, this is actually set to a spa. And I'm super curious about this. Like we, we might need to go there. And then as for Tartosa, wait, is this different or is it you guys half the time? I'm just like, hold on <laughs> because I only use save files. So I'm just like, wait, what did it look like originally again? I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't remember the last time I just played like with the regular save saves the way they come. I, I just don't do that anymore. So <laughs> Like, comment down below if you really please. But I do know that it stops at Copperdale. I do know that. There's this Mario's Pizza and Joe's Cafe. And then, look here, there's a new high school, which looks really good. So where do we want to start? This might seem weird, but I literally just want to go look at that one lot in Henford on Bagley first, just because I'm just like, oh, that's a spa? Interesting. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I mean, it's meant to be a part. Oh, the spa's down there. Oh, <gasps> wait, I actually love that. So here, it's just like a little park that's beautiful. And then down here, there's a spa. Oh, <gasps> wait, I love the concept of this. This is actually really cool. Okay, like, does anyone else really like that? I just, I don't know. It makes it feel even more peaceful. You know, no one knows you're down there. <laughs> See, and there's the little spa sign there and then the stairs. Okay, kind of in love with that. Oh, wait, did something happen here? I think so. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a little pond. I don't know what's going on there, but that could just be my game or just a glitch of some sort. I'm not sure. Okay, so now, ooh, there's also a cafe there, but I don't know. Like, there's too much that I want to look at, you guys. Do we go back to Willow Creek? Actually, no. There's, like, really cool lots I want to look at here. So this really catches my eye. Like, the fact that it's a laundromat but also pet bath, I just think that's cool. Not to mention, I would think it's actually cool to go somewhere with your pet to give them a bath. Like, is that just me? Have it be, like, a whole thing. Okay, so I love the front of this. I think this is so pretty. I love the colors. The parking lot in the back, you guys know I love when things have parking lots because it just looks more realistic. Okay, so then heading in. Okay, see, I really like this. So you can do your laundry here and then while you're waiting for your laundry, also you can bring your tots with you. So that's nice. Uh, but while you're waiting for your laundry, you can go and give your pet a bath. And I like the idea of this because, you know, when you give your pet a bath, I have two huskies. It can be messy. Like, I'll just give them a bath in, you know, my bathtub. But it makes a mess. Like, <laughs> like then everything's wet. Like, you know, they're, they're chaotic. They're huskies. And <laughs> they just want to play. And so 
you know, if you don't want to like mess up your house or you have a really small bathroom or maybe you don't even have a tub. I don't know. I just like the idea of this. I like the thought behind it. It just feels like realistic. Like, okay, like it's bath day of the whatever, how often you bathe your pet. I don't know. I don't even remember how fast the hygiene goes down, but I know they don't need baths that often. It would work perfectly like laundry day and wash your pet day. <laughs> and I like how it's a whole area. Lots of space. They can also get some food here. I love that personally. So this is a really cool too. I just love what was done with Oasis Springs. So this is a pool, but also a lounge. So I want to head in here. I'm also obsessed with the colors used, like this whole strip right here, all the pastels. I'm just like, okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is everything. I'm obsessed. Oh, I literally just had to take a picture because I love it that much. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but this building speaks to me. I love the coral tones, the pool out here. Oh my God, guys, nothing inspires me to play more like on my own than a save file does. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm getting that itch back to like make my own current household. You know, for a while there, I couldn't deal with playing on my own because everything was really frustrating. The game was really broken. Just, yeah, not the vibe I'm wanting when I want to just relax and play Sims. But, you know, things have been getting better now. My game's been working better and things like this. I'm just like, oh my God, like I need to play on my own. But then I get so indecisive because every single time I do a save file review, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I need to play in this save. So how am I supposed to choose? Like when I'm doing a current household, how do I choose? I don't know. <laughs> like, how do you guys pick a save file to play in if you're addicted to them like me? I will say when I'm playing on my own, I need a save file that's like jam packed with fun lots. Like this is really fun, you know, and it's like multi-purpose. You can swim out here, but then you can also come in here and get some drinks, multiple things for my Sims to do. Because when I'm filming Let's Plays, I'm storytelling and I feel like, I mean, I storytell off camera too, but in a little bit of a different way, not as much as like a Netflix series, more casual storytelling because I want to save my story stories for like let's plays and stuff, you know, like I think of a new idea and I'm so excited to do a let's play on it. So on my own, it's more casual laid back. And so I need a save file that's filled with stuff like this so that I actually have fun and don't get bored. Um, comment down below if you relate, <laughs> but look at this roller flare. Let's go here too. I don't want to just look at all the lots here. But I will say Oasis Springs is really tempting to look at everything because I love what they've done. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty. Like, guys, look at this. Both these buildings beside each other. I just think it looks so beautiful. It is so pretty to look at. So let's head in. I wish we could see both of these lots at the same time, to be honest. So this is really cool because you come in and the roller rink is right here. This is like reminding me of something. I don't know. I think uh, Stranger Things. <laughs> so, and then heading up, we have this awesome area. I love the floor here. This is just like the party zone. Get some drinks. Again, it's like there's multiple things to do here, you guys. Why do I need to play in this safe file? Also the fact that like so many of the worlds are done. I know they're not all done, but I think they're going to be because this does claim to be an all worlds safe file. I think they just haven't gotten to those ones yet because they're newer packs. Oh my God. I didn't even look at, hold up. Apparently these are done too. So Granite Falls looks like this now. Okay. And then we have Selva Dorada. I don't even remember what Selva Dorada originally looks like. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't even have the map replacement. You know, I've been wanting to play this pack again. Like I never have my Sims go on vacation here or anything. Have you guys touched this pack? I have not touched it like forever. <laughs> So now I'm like, is this different? I feel like it is. Isn't this different? I think. I completely forgot. It has to be. These look too good. These look too good. It. These have to be new. There's no way. This is too beautiful. <laughs> we definitely got to head to Newcrest. I am probably going to check out some of the families as well, but this is one of those save files where the community lots are very interesting because there's so much going on. There's some save files where I'm like looking at so many families and then there's others where I'm looking at all the community lots. And this is one of those for sure. So this looks fun. Oh my God, look at the lot beside here. I'm sorry. That's like so beautiful. All right, so going into the cafe, look how cute this is at the front. Oh my goodness. You know how like you see a commercial or something and it inspires you to go to that place or like makes you crave a certain food? For me, I'll see this. And I'm just like, I want to go to a cozy cafe now in real life. Like the Sims makes me want to go places and makes me crave certain foods. <laughs> like literally me. Please tell me I'm not alone in that. Please, please. The amount of times that the Sims has made me crave boba and sushi is ridiculous. So this is really cute. There's actually, it looks like Sims were here. 
but oh it's so cute and simple and like earthy like you know the green tones and this on the wall I love this would be so cozy to go to all right so do we want to look at the law that was like beside that because it looked really pretty what was it though oh yes absolutely so this was the dragon berry bistro let's go you guys I can't like how stunning is this like you can literally garden here like shut the front door <laughs> it's so freaking pretty i can't look at this front it's just what look at the eating area up here my sims would definitely be eating up there so let's look inside oh okay so here get a table here's the kitchen and then oh my god the way these tables are um hello hello yeah I love this place. I would definitely have my Sims that come and eat here. I l again, like it's so, just so much nature, which is just perfect for this time of year. It's getting warm out. If it's already super warm where you are, I'm jealous, but you know, we're transitioning to spring weather here now in Canada, but the temps are getting to the point where I open the window and I'm just like literally serotonin boost. Does anyone else get like that? I will literally open my window and it will make me want to go outside. <laughs> and the air smells different. Like it just smells like spring. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. Am I weird? Okay. So I'm interested in this Newcrest co-working place. Also, like I would love to go here, but I feel like it's self-explanatory, but I just know I'm going to love this place. But yeah, you can already see what it's going to look like. So let's go here then. But also there's this one, the executive suites. Like, what is this? Hold on. Let's go see both of those. Ooh, I love the front okay yeah i really like that yeah i love the way the parking lot is laid out and then back here we have some benches so heading inside what is this place okay so it's meant to just look like like a like if, if you have an office job i feel like that's what this is at least i guess you know what i would use this for if my sims like work from home i would actually have them come here instead you know and so they're not stuck in the house all the time for example if they're a writer i would have them come here as if they work in this workplace and go on the computer and write their book or whatever it is w wouldn't that be how you guys use this i'm honestly curious comment down below that's what i would do because i'm not sure what else I would use this for. And yeah, like there's a little cafe here. Oh, 100%. Wait, wait, this is inspiring me for like something. Oh my gosh, I need to play on my own. I need to make a current household, you guys. And then I can do like current household updates, which I miss doing so much. I used to always do videos like that. I might even play like not vanilla, but like mostly vanilla. I'm not talking about CC. I'll definitely use my CC, but I'm talking about like minimal mods to just like really enjoy the game. Not to mention I cannot stand for YouTube. It's worth it. Okay. Because I'm doing all this storytelling and I need those mods, but I play on a different computer on my own in my living room and updating all the mods like on both computers. Like no. <laughs> so if I just have minimal mods, like, you know, MC command center, just the basic, I would rather do that on my own. And then I'm just less stressed out. Okay. So do we want to go here too then? I'm just curious about these places. Can I just say my new loading screen, which I did do a video on recently, the thumbnail actually has the loading screen in it. So like you won't miss it, but it makes me want to watch anime. Okay. So this building is also freaking gorgeous. Hold on. Look at this. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, oh, all of these lots surrounding who went there, but I'm just like obsessed with everything. Like, stop it. Okay. Is this just meant to be like to look at? I'm confused. I don't know, but it's a beautiful building. I don't know what the purpose of that was, but it's pretty from the outside. Okay. So I want to look at a few more things here. I know. I know. I just, I really like the lots here. Or do we go somewhere else? I'm very indecisive. If you cannot tell, there's just so much to look at. Maybe we look at a family. Did we finally do that? These sims look interesting. Let's go. Okay. So this save file does start off in fall and oh my God, wait a minute. This is like the coolest little house. So we're using a lot of eco lifestyle here. <gasps> I'm not even a fan of eco lifestyle, but when it's used like this and like, I don't know, I really like this. Feels like they have so much story going on. Like look at the clutter in the front. Okay, this is my vibe. <laughs> I love it. Look at their cute little home. Stop. Okay, so they're clearly a couple because they sleep in the same bed. Yeah, aww. So this is Kane and then we have, oh no, wait, this is Kane and then we have Shania. Aww. Wait, they are so cute. Look at these Sims. Oh my God, I love their vibe. Look at you, you're freaking adorable. Stop. 
Okay, so they are set up like a little story going on here. You're a gardener. And then, oh, okay. So you are a designer, a civil designer. And they do have some skills going and everything. Okay, guys, I love this. How freaking cute. Okay, I want to jump around a little bit to look at a bit more. Do I want to look at the gym here? Like, it looks really nice. Or there's the spa here. Body and Soul Health Club. I love the sound of that. Ooh, okay. Very modern. It fits perfectly inside my shoe now. And the back here. Oh, the back is so pretty. There's a pool right there. So let's head in. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. I love that this is like on the roof. How fun would it be to go on the treadmill? Like your view? I don't know. This would just be a cool experience. <laughs> okay, so there's no basement or anything. You come in. Oh, it's beautiful. You have everything you need here. Get massages, all of that. Okay, this is perfect. And I love this floor. Your yoga. It's so pretty. I love all this right here. How gorgeous. All right, so jumping on over to Copperdale, I wanted to look at this Mario's Pizza. The park also looks really nice now. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, how cute is this? Look at the front. Oh, that's adorable. That is so, so cute. You can eat in the back there. Aw, I love the energy of this one. So, oh my god, okay. <laughs> So you come in and it's like a little diner vibe over here and then you can get cafe stuff on the other side So again, it's like multi-purpose and then this is what I kind of gasped to look at this. This is so adorable I am obsessed. This is like my I, I swear I have two personalities gotta love like the dark goth alt vibes and then I love this this pastel queen like i i just i i'm so gravitated towards both styles and they're so polar opposites of each other but I, I, why do i feel like a lot of girls are like that okay you guys that is gonna be everything i look at today honestly i could be here forever like there is so much to look at so much to do in this safe hall i love that about it like this oh my god like there's three different places here there's just so much going on and i think this is so well done definitely grab this like i said it is free you can just type in zero it's basically just like an option to for like a donation. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.